Hello Regina Sailing family and friends. Before we go over to the moon, let's just, I can't stop it, let's just draw what we have calculated even though it doesn't really um, fit nicely into one fix. We'll um, just draw it to demonstrate and repeat how you draw this on this plotting sheet. So what do we want to draw? And that's here. That's the actual shooting. So we took the bodies. Here we have a lot of bodies. You only need three to get a fix. Um, but we had here Jupiter, Antares, Daneb, Polaris. And uh, we shot all these. We get an exact assumed position. And the uh, assumed position consists of a latitude that we choose here chosen latitude in full degrees and we have a longitude that is very accurate now in order to get the local hour angle as a full degree and then we can read off what we should have measured we compare it with what we actually did shoot the corresponding bodies with so we could get a azimuth here and the in intercept towards or away and with Polaris we did some uh, corrections a0 a1 a2 to get the latitude just out of the book so that's very easy if you have Polaris so Polaris is a very nice star if you are on a um, northern hemisphere and the the other stars are very good as well so with the Jupiter, it says here use the performer instead for planets, which is here. So we didn't have to fill in this because we had done it on this page instead. So we did it exactly with the sun, so no big difference. The only difference was that we had a V factor to take into consideration. And uh, also the, the co corrections here were a bit different. But the V factor is because the, uh, the planets are not going nicely 15 degrees per hour with a constant increment. So you had to correct the Greenwich hour angle and add something in between there. So that's how far we have got. And now I want to draw this in the chart. So I have my chart here. So we start off by giving the latitudes and longitudes a couple of names. And you have to then remember which latitude we were on. We chose the latitude 37. So we'll write 37 here. North. We are in the northern hemisphere. That's why this is 38 degrees north. The question is now, what do we call this longitude? So what longitudes are we playing around with? 11 degrees and 23, 11, 53, 11, 36, and here, 11, 36. All right, well, let's call this 11 then. 11 degrees west. So since this is a western uh, longitude, the more we go to the west, the bigger the number, and the more we go to the east, the lower the number. So we need here 10 degrees somewhere. But where is this 10 degree? There's no line pre-written because we have to check here on our scale. Or uh, when the scale is that here we have the different latitudes. So we are on latitude 37. So 37 is approximately here. So this is our scale that we use. So we can also, we can either measure here one degree from there to there that's 60 minutes or if we happen to have a plotting sheet like this we could say that we are 37 degrees uh, latitude 10 20 35 37 here and then here 37 there and these two we can connect and that is our longitude 10 degrees west. Now we can check it if it's true because this is our uh, scale for 37 degrees longitude. We place it there and yes, you guessed it. That's correct. So we can do the other method on this side. Put this here 
and then the problem is that we need a couple of those lines so you can draw a nice parallel line put this like that draw it here and here we have 10 11 12 degrees west so that's our chart so that's good so now let's start the drawing so for this I need some colored pencils so I've got these here so that's good so which one shall we start with let's start with our planet Jupiter we only have to look at this corner there so we have a which color shall we give it let's give it orange because the planet is nice and orange so we can do some color there so we know that's the one so this is my planet planet Jupiter we have a working latitude of 37 degrees north that's here we have a working longitude of 11 degrees and 44 and a half so that would be a bit in that direction 44 so you can say uh, you can say 40 is here one two three four so that's 40 make a little dot there but that's that's only 40 and then we need 44 and a half that's two of those small ones there because there are they are um, they are two each so this is our either working position or assumed position that's the same thing assumed position for Jupiter that's why it's in orange so that's there from here we have an azimuth of 140 degrees now you won't believe it but I think I mentioned it already that my nice Portland plotter is on the boat so I have to use the parallel ruler uh, thing so I need a course of 140 degrees so this is 140 degrees so that's why you have this circle um, even if you don't uh, have a um, uh, sorry I need to do it with a triangle of course even though you don't have a Portland plotter you can use this by just a triangular here this is my course to the Sun so I have here the direction of the Sun I'm making a nice sun here. Oh, it's Jupiter. It's Jupiter. So let's be really correct. Let's be really correct. So Jupiter has this nice symbol. So that's the direction of Jupiter. All right. So then we have an intercept of 31 nautical miles. The distance is, of course, always measured here. That's the distance. And it should be away. So away from Jupiter, 31 that's there that's not where we are this is where the position line crosses the azimuth so we are somewhere along that line and here is the direction of Jupiter so this is how fast this goes so we can throw that away so we've done that so now let's take the next one we can color this is Jupiter like a circle around we take a green and touch can you see this color no it's not it's not green enough is it this is a nice green color Antares so what do we have for Antares Antares we have a chosen latitude of 37 well that's lucky because that's the same here and then we need the position so our chosen longitude is 11 degrees and 23 minutes west so that's 11 degrees and we can put it like this this is also a trick you, you start off from the left side because then you have 1 2 20 and then 3 is somewhere in between those two lines because it's 2 um, degrees per line here so we have 1 2 22 23 so that's what we wanted 11 degrees 23 11 degrees 23 here so that is our assumed position 
for Antares. So from here, we will now take the azimuth, and the azimuth is um, there, 181 degrees. 181 degrees. That's this. Pull it down over here. There. Here is Antares. If you haven't tried Antares charts in, in Scotland, you should really do that. They are so good, these charts. They just have taken the name of this beautiful star. Now, where are we? We are here uh, towards, so we are closer to Antares, namely 10 nautical miles. So, distances are measured on the longitude. 10 nautical miles, not here, but towards Antares. And this is not a position, this is where we draw our position line. So, this is our position line. We are somewhere on here, uh, looking at Antares. I think that this is going to be not so good position because I've invented all these figures. But let's play it through as it comes here. The Daneb, we have 37 degrees at our chosen latitude. The longitude is 1153, 1154. So here we can go from there. One, two, three, four, five, and then two, four. So from here to there. So that's 11 degrees and 54. That's there. Wrong color. Which color do we have? This color. So that's our assumed position for Daneb. What's the azimuth? 59 degrees. 59 degrees. 59 degrees is here. 59 degrees there. So up here is the Daneb. Make it a bit stronger. Bolder. There we go. And here we are away seven nautical miles. Away seven nautical miles. <coughs> seven nautical miles is here. That's seven. We're not there, we are away. This is not our position. This is our, um, where the position line goes through. So here we have another position line of the Danev. And finally, we have the Polaris. Polaris gets a purple color. And that gave us a latitude of 37 degrees and 13 minutes. So that's easy. 37 degrees and 13 minutes. That's here. So that is another position line, of course. And if you want to be really precisely, you can even draw these arrows northbound because that's where the Polaris is. And I write this Polaris. So where are we? What we are really looking for now is a fix. And that is where the various position lines um, intercept or cross. So we have one position line, the red one, that is this one. And then we have an orange one here for the Jupiter. So this orange one and that Daneb one, they intercept here. So you could think that is the fix. And then we have the uh, Polaris, which is here. So then you would say that this could be an intercept and that could be an intercept. So we are in this triangle. And then we have this green Antares. So that is a little bit off, one must admit. So now it's a question of judging your shots, or in my case, it's just an exercise. Um, but when, um, when you're there, you could maybe remember that you weren't really good when you did this Antares uh, shot. 
so that's why um, you think that that was a bit off so that can be uh, confirmed here as well so in that means me that means that you would have somewhere here your real uh, fix